Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited 2. Today is episode number two, and we are, uh, first of all, we are going to customize our character. Uh, he's looking a little bit uh, broke uh, with his uh, valet uniform. Oh, uh, they're not unlocked. Ugh, they all look horrible. Uh, let's take a look, see what sunglasses we got. Uh, you know what? Let's put these ones on. Get some nice black sunglasses. Uh, oh, we can have quite a nice jacket, actually. Um, I mean, it is Ibiza, so I'm guessing it's a little bit warm. I've never been before. Uh, I quite like that. Black and purple. Uh, lower garments. Let's go for... Some nice jeans. They'd look nice. Uh, and then black shoes. I quite like black shoes as well. Perfect. It fits you well. Of course it does. It is a game. In this store, you can find clothes and accessories to change your character style. You're a bit late telling me that. <laughs> Um, so what happens once we finish the C4 championship? You actually earn what's called a C4 high, which is basically just a little bit more difficult. Um, and basically the end of the C4 championship. So we have a little bit of a road trip to do now. Um, I'm going to do the road trip for this video of me driving there. But if you guys don't want to see me do the road trips, then let me know in the comments down below um, so that I know to edit them out. No. Whew. Oh, no, no, no. Cancel. <laughs> I didn't realise there was someone there that was waiting for me to do that. Uh, I will do that later. I know that mission actually unlocks the um, dirt racing part of the game. So if you do that, you... Um, oh, I didn't bank it in time. Right, don't lose it then. Ay, ay, ay. There we go. Hang on, indicators. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Um, so these are actually multiplayer games, um, but because the servers aren't live, we can't actually do any of them. Um, it's kind of annoying that the servers aren't live anymore, but I'm guessing no one plays this game anymore as well. I, right now, am probably the only person playing Test Drive Unlimited 2. I can guarantee you that. This car is very quick. It could be even quicker though. Um, so I'm waiting to unlock the... I didn't hit his car! Ugh. Oh, well that's annoying. This guy doesn't know how roads work. MTTP. Whatever that is. Also, this game is very weird. Watch this, right? Cop car. When you have committed too many infractions, you risk being pursued by the police. I only get a half meter, so if I crash into a cop car again, I'll get the police on me. Now I could crash into four traffic cars before getting a violation, and I can skip what? If I crash into a cop car now, he still won't chase me. Look, watch this. Not gonna chase me, because the meter's not full. It's such a weird way of doing it. <laughs> it's really confusing. I mean, imagine if he did start chasing me, that would have been embarrassing.
bank it. If I'm going the wrong way round the roundabout, I, had, I swear there's something down this road here. What's this? Oh, this is the car wash. Turn around when possible. You can wash your car in this shop. Direction. Turn around when possible. I don't think I need a car wash, but uh, okay. Uh, I do remember that being there. Oh, uh, one thing as well. Look at the size of this map. Like, you may have noticed, from there to there is 11 miles, right? So from here to up there must be at least 20, 25, right? But there's an even bigger surprise waiting at level 10. And I will show you this surprise if you've never played this game before. Yeah, I don't care. But there is a huge surprise for level 10, and it is insane, actually. I don't care about your Nissan. We go 200. Can we get 350? There's 350. Can we try 600? Oh no, it's 500. Never mind. Uh, that is the American dealership. Yes, bank it. We'll bank it there. $500 there. Easy. Easy money. Uh, so we're in area 2 of Ibiza. I think there's only two areas for Ibiza. Let me double check. Yeah, there's two areas. What just happened? Why does the game not pause? The game doesn't pause. I'm so confused. But yeah, there is only two areas for this map. Road bikes. That is actually a DLC. Um, I will probably get it at some point. I don't know. I might do. But it is a DLC content uh, for this game. Come on, let's go. Three miles. Yeah, I went right into that guy then. Oh, we went right into the back of that car. Uh, how much money do we have? 69... <laughs> 69,000. Woo! Um, so the AI is actually ramped up a little bit for this, and I think it's very scripted in the high championships to make sure that the person who is against us, so Miami Harris in this one, is a lot more difficult than the rest of the AI. So it's like... She will definitely get a higher rating for it. But that is the road trip done. Or nearly done. 
again, if you guys don't want to see this road trip, or if you, if we're like mixed vote, I'll make sure to add timestamps and stuff like that. But yeah, I think the road trips are actually some of the best bit. Just being able to sit back and just drive. It's one of the best parts of this game is just being able to sit down and drive. Here we go, scene four championship just up ahead. You have reached your destination. You have reached your destination. Right, C4 high, let's go. Well, it's whenever you want, Miami. It's recording. Well, there's no point in obsessing over this defeat. Minor setback. Trivial in the long run. Big news is that my new clothing line, Be Miami, is coming soon. Oh, Daddy will be so proud of me. Ciao, everybody. I'm off to do some shopping. <laughs> She's a, a bit of a weird one. Ah, this is a speed trap one. Uh, let's go on to speed traps. Let's do one of them. Ah! I dropped my game on the floor. Which one was it? The speed cameras are on. Oh, it was my copy of Colin McRae Dirt. The best route and log the fastest time since they passed them. We should be able to get a fast time, hopefully. Right, so I think if we go... Number one first. Ninety-eight, we got the fastest time there. No! Oh, you pleb. Right, so we've got the fastest time on number 98, uh, number one, which was 98 miles an hour. That's what I was trying to say. Ah, uh, everyone's coming this way. This isn't gonna go well. Oh no! They've full crashed there, what? Right, so if we get number five now... Eighty-six, fastest speed. Hundred miles an hour for that. Uh, right, so if we go number three now, we should be able to take a left and then go for the last one, number two again. The one that we didn't do very well on. Oh, Italian classic discovered. We can go to there at some point. Um, I think we should be able to get ourselves an asphalt car for that. And there we go, green everything. We can uh, do donuts, I guess. These are some uh, makeshift donuts. And that's it, first place. Next race. Uh, what's this up here? Uh, that's a sprint race, time trial, a another sprint race. Uh, that is laps. Uh, let's go for the lap race first, um, because they always seem to take forever, like forever to do. The 
Legends are heating up on the starting line. The final moments of anticipation before this epic confrontation begins. What surprises will Solar Crown give us this time? What surprises will Solar Crown give us this time? Let's go. Oh, US Car South. Whereabouts is that? Ah, uh, somewhere there behind us. There we go. There we go, that's that sorted out. Nobody saw that corner cut. This isn't even the first lap done yet. This is a long race. Oh my gosh, that corner cut though. <laughs> That's like half of the track. There we go. As uh, so the interior of this car is actually quite nice. There's quite a bit of detail uh, involved. If you look at the dashboard and that, there is hmm, a fair amount of detail. Oh, there is uh, interior customization and rim customization as well in this game. So that is pretty neat. Um, but no light like, body modifications. The cars literally have to look stock. Um, which is a bit of a bummer. But, I mean, you can't have everything in 2010. You can't even have everything now. Um, I think that is something that they're planning on changing if, I mean, there have been a lot of teasers for a TDU3 by, like, companies saying they bought out the rights and stuff like that. Um, I don't know what it was. I think it was Big Ben Interactive, um, which is, I don't know what games they actually made. What games did they make? If anyone knows any Big Bang interactive games, let me know in the comments down below. Um, but hopefully we should get a teaser in the future about what it is. We had a 13 second lead, so it was fine. Okay, this might not be so fine. Go, 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 go! Pull away, quick! Come on! Yes, go away Miami, no one likes you. And first place again. 20 points total. Oh, Miami didn't win the last event. Interesting. This might be easier than I thought. So, um, obviously, like, if you lose an event, um, the game doesn't... That doesn't mean you've lost the championship. Uh, it just means you get two less points if you come second. So... 
it's not like Need for Speed where you have to win, otherwise you get like a huge deduction. Like you can earn 30,000 bank in your first event, but in you, if you come second, you get like 15,000. It's a huge drop off for coming second in Need for Speed Heat. Forza is like 100 credits difference between coming first and last. Forza's is stupid. Their progression is terrible, but in general it is a fun game. And when you play with friends, it is amazing. But it's just... The progression isn't there. And it's something that needs to be put into Forza. Bring back progression. Add more stuff. Make it like TDU. But... We don't always get what we want in the gaming world. It would be nice to. But... I know it is actually quite difficult to sort of meet people's needs, um, especially some wild needs that you get out there. But I've always said, if you were to make, get Forza to make driving mechanics, get Need for Speed for their customization. Oh, slow down. Get the crew for their map design. And then get uh, Test Drive Unlimited for their content. You'd have the world's best game. World's best racing game. By far. Without a doubt. It's only the problem that those four companies will never meet. They won't. And it's something that they need to do. They could do that. A collaboration is not that hard to do. And a lot of us people want to see that. And when I say a lot of us people, I mean I want to see that. Come on, we can't lose this now. Come on. Here we go. And across the line. There is a dub. Ten points. We are halfway there to a win in the C4 High competition. Um, right, we have a race here, a race here. Uh, let's go for this one, because this one's quite long. Start. The Solar Crown is now in full swing. Suspense is at an all-time high. Who will win this race? I will. It's always me. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that road traffic? Why are there traffic cars in a Solar Crown race? I thought they closed all the roads. This is an illegal street race. Um, imagine... Ah! <laughs> this isn't going so well. There we go. I don't know how I just missed that. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> I was too busy looking down at my feet. Oh, I've done it! I've done it again. 
Uh, I don't think we're going to win this now. Oh, uh, we might do. You never know. It's just a very long race. So we could have the chance of catching back up. No. The audio keeps cutting out a little bit. I don't know whether that's my headphones. I hope it's not, because this is a brand new headset. I should probably get a wireless headset, just so I don't have the worry of breaking the wire whenever I get up. If you want an overpowered car to start off the game, definitely take a Lancia. Take the Lancia. And there we go, there's our fourth win. Right, um, next let's do this race up here. Uh, race Santa Iluria run. I think that's what that says. Come on, let's load up the game. At least I don't have to edit these videos out or... Unless we're going to start editing out the road trips. But I don't actually have to edit much of this out. Let's go. The loading times are the most surprising bit about this game. Because it's almost instant. You don't have to wait for much. Give us TDU three. Diddly 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a tighter corner than I expected. Six forty five. Let's go. Should probably come out of first person for a little bit. I mean, we have been in first person for, like, the last two races. Let me know in the comments as well. Do you prefer first person? Do you prefer third? Because I can drive in both. I am I actually prefer sometimes driving in first person. Um, but let me know in the comments. What do you rather watch? What would you rather watch? First person, third person, mix of both? I might also put a pel... Uh, poll out and it would actually be a useful poll this time Oh, look at the sea, though. You think this map changes so much as you travel around it? Like it probably would in real life, to be honest. 
I mean, look at that scenery. That is just stunning. Like, look at that beach. That'd be a lovely place to go, except for the fact that it would reset your car. But, you know. Right, final event. Let's go and do this. You can press give up. I think that would be a bit stupid to do, though. Uh, so this one is actually all within the city. So you can see it goes past the docks and all that. Um, so this would actually be quite nice. The Ibiza Seaport. This is cool. Hey there. What drama. Apparently the Wilder Brothers hey. is squabbling with Stuart again. The pressure of the competition is <laughs> really starting to show. The Wilder Brothers are a bit of a nutcase job. Oh no, the corner's there, the corner's there. We can come second and still come out with the win. Preferably need to come first. Look at this map though. Honestly, I don't care what anyone else says. Need for Speed, Forza, you cannot beat this map. We're doing good for time and positions. <laughs> Cheeky corner cut. Ah, no. Turn back. There we go. No, 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 no. Miami, stay back. Get back. Bad Miami. <laughs> tired uh that is that race done uh that is c4 high completed miami's not gonna be happy it's official solar crown has given us a great new champion oh there wasn't a cutscene with miami you're oh, but she's ringing us. Last championship, and now I bet you think you're special. Well, how about a small challenge between the two of us? I'll put my car at stake. Uh, maybe later. Actually, should I do it now? Yeah, why not? Uh, where is she? Uh, right, we need to get here. Go there. Oh, she's right behind us. What was the point in that, then? <laughs> we didn't really go far.
Right, Miami, let's see what you got. How the hell did you beat me? Oh, she is pissed. Oh, her car is nothing. <coughs> I don't think pink slips is actually a thing in this game. Um, but I know in like Need for Speeds in the past they've actually had pink slips where you can lose a car and it's uh, it's kind of funny. You put so much effort into a car and then all of a sudden, ah, you lose. Ah, that's it, all gone. I never really liked pink slips. Come on, we've nearly beaten Miami. Destroyed her, actually. This is an ass whooping. This isn't just beating her, this is destruction. Mass destruction. Well, Miami. You're going to have to hand over the keys. Don't worry, Mikhail. We'll buy another one. <laughs> we want it. No more spaces in the garage. Oh. Uh, what level is this car, though? It's three. Uh, to be honest, the car's not that bad. It's the fact that he's got a terrible paint job. I mean, just look at that paint job. No thanks. I don't want to be seen driving this around. Um, but I think that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like, um, comment down below, and subscribe. Uh, leaving a like really helps support the channel uh, at the moment. Um, but if you did, comment down below, subscribe, and if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button, it means the world to me, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.